I've been going out and uh, we're with ARW with my great friend Trevor Raven and John Anderson. We've been out doing it. Too. So, and, and anybody who's seen any of the shows will know we finish off the, the show, we play Owner of a Horse and Cart, and Trevor and I go out into the audience. And uh, we go out, and Trevor has his guitar, I have my handheld keyboard, and we go out and we have a bit of fun out of the audience. It is, it's great fun. And the, the second to last night on the last tour, uh, we're out there, it was really busy, we're getting jostled a lot of those. And, and, uh, and Trevor accidentally, and it was actually, he, he, he whacked me in the mouth with his guitar, which, uh, which hurt. And I, I think I said something like, gosh, bless him, I saw that was jolly painful, Trev. That really hurt. And I felt my mouth filling up with blood, and I thought, I'm in real trouble here. And uh, we got to the dressing room afterwards, and yeah, sure enough, blood everywhere. And these two front teeth, they're capped, they're, they're like bridge. And this one here was like a cat flap, you know, back was all about that. No. And I thought, well, I'll wait till I get home and try and sort it out. So two days later, I'm back in England, I went to see my dentist, who's a lovely Nigerian lady called Uchella. I told her word out, and she said, well, let's have a look. So I opened my mouth up, she went, oh, yeah. That's one, and she pulled it out, and she went, oh, dear. And I thought, what, what, what's the thing oh, dear? And she said, well, the, all the, tooth, the old tooth that it was attached to at the back, she said, that's all broken. She said, I've got nothing to attach it to now. I said, well, I can't go around with a gap in it. I've got concerts and things. She said, well, don't worry. She said, what I can do, we have a thing, which in layman's terms, is dental superglue. And I can superglue it to your gum, and I can put a brace at the back. Our kids have a brace at the front. You'll have one at the back. That'll hold it for about a year until I can get the moulds done for implants, because you're going to need implants. I went, oh, bloody hell. I said, OK. And she said, that's not your main problem. I said, what's my main problem? <laughs> She said, can you feel the sharp bit on the left? I said, yeah, that's broken tooth. She said, yeah. He's what? Well, what well, well, that as well. That's broken. You've got a broken tooth there, and that's got to come out. I went, no, it hasn't. She said, it has. I said, well, all right, we'll do it when you do the implant. She said, no, no, it's got to come out now. She said, you're very close to the nerve, and if that gets exposed, you will be in agony. So it's coming out. I went, oh. And she picked up the old syringe, and I went, no. She said, well, what do you mean, no? I said, you know, you said, I can't stand needles. And she went, oh, I have to give you a gas then. Took them. I said, no. She said, what? I said, you know, I can't stand anything over my face. She said, what do you like with pills? I said, I'm all right with pills. <laughs> she said, great. She said, take this Viagra pill. I said, what? <laughs> I said, I didn't know Viagra was a painkiller. She said, it's not, but it'll give you something to hold on to. I'll put it in So that's true, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I did an album last year uh, called, um, called uh, Piano Odyssey, and I took tunes and melodies from people that I absolutely love. Great melodies, because I love playing around with melodies on the piano. And uh, uh, some of the absolute geniuses at writing great melodies were, was, were some of the Beatles. I mean, John Lennon wrote some fantastic melodies. Paul McCartney wrote some great melodies. George Harrison. Tremendous melodies, and, and, and Ringo wrote Octopus's Garden. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to do two that I really love. It's a great fun to play around with. Uh, one is Strawberry Fields, and the uh, other one is George Harrison's While My Guitar Gently Weeps. And I, thank you. I knew, George, I knew George really well, and we actually did dis discuss this, this piece, and I said, you know what, George, it's such a beautiful melody. If you hadn't been a guitarist, if you'd been whatever, a harp player or a flute player, it could have been well, my flute Jenny Weeks, my harp Jenny Weeks, because it literally, we discussed it, and we agreed that it literally would work on any instrument, except the bagpipes. And, uh, and we both agreed that the only thing that looks good on bagpipes is a Sherman tank. I, I do hope you have a nice night, thank you.